A shot there and not uh, a bad effort from the fullback who's still looking for his first goal this season. The only ever present, in fact, in the Rangers side playing his 20th consecutive game tonight. Yeah, we're hoping to get Rangers will be hoping to get David Robertson into forward positions because in the first five minutes of this game, Tony Derigo has made great runs from the left back position for Leeds and get, get telling crosses into the box. And I'm sure Rangers will be looking for David Robertson to do the same. So the high ball there from Goff, it's headed down by McCoyst, picked up by Hatley. Back he's in there. The hard competitive player he is. David Batty. Well, he's only scored uh, three goals in his career and uh, still waiting for number one this season, but uh, more a player who wins the ball and the longest serving outfield player for Leeds United. So Lukic coming well out of his goal. Chapman's in there. McAllister in support. It's laid off by Cantona. There's McAllister again. Cut out though by Durant. It's a Stuart McCall. I was trying to find Ali McCoy, so it was well cut out though by Newsom. This is Batty to Strachan. Cantona again, chesting it down there for McAllister. He wanted too much time in the ball. He lost out uh, initially to Trevor Stephen. Now it's Ian Durant. He's got Hatley in front of him. McPherson's running in support. There's McPherson now. He's closed down by Derigo. Back to Durant it goes. Laid off by McCoy, still away though by Derigo. Chapman's head up. Well, he's looking for Gordon Strachan, but McCall's back there. Trevor Stephen has uh, drifted over to the left side of the field. And the ball swept out of play by Fairclough. It's important tonight that Richard Goff, John Brown, McPherson and Robertson push up in the Leeds front line because Cantona and Lee Chapman have got no real pace to get in behind defenders. Nor has Gordon Strachan who prefers the ball played into his feet. So it's Ian Ferguson with Batty and with a real tussle between those two before the night's out. But now it's Durant for Rangers. Aiming it at the head of Hatley. And the ball goes out for the throw-in. To Leeds United tighten against their own corner flag. Well, tonight is Rangers' 154th European tie, the 60th in the Champions Cup. Very experienced side indeed, but uh, so too are Leeds, who have lost just uh, 17 times in 90 European ties. That's a formidable record. But here comes Durant for Rangers now to McPherson. Again, the Leeds players wasn't their opponents down quickly. It's speed. Switching the play to Cantona. It's well cut out by John Brown. And spotted the challenge coming through from Lee Chapman. Put forward now by Durant. Chested down by McCoy to Trevor Stephen. Robertson at full stretch there, but uh, again, Stephen running in support. Bit of slack play gives it to McAllister. Now it's Tony Dorigo. Player of uh, terrific pace. Hard tackling full back as well. McAllister. Across to Fairclough. Cantona. So leads very much in the driving seat, leading by a goal to nil. And happy to knock the ball about much to the annoyance of the huge range of support here tonight. And of course, if uh, Rangers dive into challenges, they'll uh, maybe just get themselves uh, into some more trouble. Really is a crucial stage of the match for them. They've really got to get themselves back in here, but uh, Leeds are playing so well. The offside flag is up there against Cantona. Yeah, Rangers are going to have to show um, tremendous character and, and a lot of patience as well, so they don't go chasing the game after that hammer blow in the first minute. So it's McCall to Stephen. McCall again. The Rangers players finding it very difficult to uh, get any space at all, but here comes John Brown. McCoy laid off to Stephen. That's a good challenge by David Batty. That's McAllister. A switch of play to Gary Speed, the Welshman. Knocks it down there to Dorigo. 
Gary Speed again taking on David McPherson. McPherson did well there under pressure. Now it's Ian Ferguson. Richard Goff is breaking out of defence. Trying to get his team going. It's switched to the right though to Stuart McCall. Goff is still pushing well forward. It's played through to Ali McCoyst. Ian Ferguson. And the ball going well wide of target. So a disappointing effort there from Rangers. Now Trevor Stephen was uh, brought back to the to Ibrooks to play in this type of arena. It's his eighth start since coming back from Marseille. He missed the first leg against Lingby, but played in Denmark. He's got one goal to his credit so far this season. There's Richard Goff with the header. But again, it uh, runs out of play for the throw into Leeds. I think Rangers will need to sort the, the Gary Speed problem out as well. Obviously, the better names in the Rangers midfield, Gary, the bigger names, Gary McAllister, Gordon Strachan, and David Batty. But I'll tell you, Gary Speed's a wonderful player, and he's causing Rangers problems. He's popped up on the left, the right, the centre of the defence, and then the Rangers box. And they're not quite sure how to handle him so far. So it's Richard Goff having to play it back to Gorham. Strachan snapping away at his heels there as ever. The header from Chris White. The offside flag goes up against uh, the lone figure of Gordon Strachan. <laughs> he, uh, he nodded off there for a moment. <laughs> but, uh, what a terrific uh, credit he is to himself, and he's got 35 years of age. He's still enjoying his football. So it's Gorham's long kick. It's cut out by White. Robertson's header for Rangers. Nudged on by Goff. The offside flag went up though against Caitley and McCoyst. So, as I said earlier, only five uh, clubs have gone through, Scottish clubs have gone through against uh, English sides over the years. Rangers did it against Wolves, Dunfermline managed it twice against Everton and West Brom. Aberdeen defeated Ipswich and, of course, uh, Celtic defeated Leeds United in those classics back in 1970. But, uh, except the weight of history falls on the side of the English teams and uh, they're proving it again here tonight with Leeds United leading Rangers by a goal to nil there's the scorer McAllister but he's well challenged this time by Ian Ferguson now it's Ian Durant for Rangers he plays it through to McCoyst Leeds have got plenty of players back though here's Ian Durant he's been pursued there by speed and eventually it's Faircloth flipping it away to McAllister and Leeds looking quite comfortable this is Eric Cantona to David Batty and it's Gordon Strachan for Cantona again, it's Brown stepping in though, there's Batty, leading the situation well, charging through, taking the return there from Chapman, now it's played to McAllister, Dorigo is breaking on the left, but the ball falling in just behind them there. McAllister clipping it forward to speed, Carson gets a touch on his far as Batty, Carson's in there again, Rangers are finding it difficult to break out of their own half. It's Dorigo playing it forward. He's unhappy there uh, with the challenge by McCall. In fact, the referee had spotted it. And he's awarded the free kick against McCall. I don't think there's any doubt, Jerry, that in the first 20 minutes or so, Leeds seem to have got a grip of the midfield. And when you look at the midfield, it's very talented. Four international players spread across the middle of the park. And they're running, running the show at the moment. So the free kick to be taken by Dorigo putting in the high one trouble here again for Rangers Fairclough's in there so too was White and the two of them always carrying a threat at uh, set pieces it's Dorigo's clearance Chapman climbing for it it's cut out by Goff Ian Ferguson to McPherson. Through to McCoyst. Durant looking for Hatley. The chance went for Ali McCoyst. Oh, and that's brave goalkeeping by John Lickett. A good build up by Rangers. Uh, Durant involved, so too was Hatley. McCoyst came racing in and very brave goalkeeping by yeah, Lickett. Very close here. Lovely little downwards header by Mark Hatley. But as you said, Jerry, John Lukic's brave, brave goalkeeping dives at the feet of Ali McCoy. 
So Rangers at last, carrying a threat in this match with almost 20 minutes gone. And Hitley bundled off the ball by Newsom. John Newsom uh, came into the side uh, this season when uh, Mel Sterling went out injured. The Rangers quickly take the kick. It's uh, Trevor Stephen. In for the head of Hatley. And headed behind by Chris Fairclough. So the Rangers fans getting right behind the team now. At last they're starting to show something. Corner kick awarded, and of course, uh, David McPherson and Richard Goff have moved right into the six yard area as Ian Durant strikes the ball. Lukic commits himself, and the ball's over the line. It's a goal for Rangers. Well, a complete miscue by the goalkeeper. 20 minutes gone. The goalkeeper tried to punch it clear. The ball crossed the line. Well, this is dreadful goalkeeping error here by John Lukic. It sort of climbs over a few bodies and actually punches it into his own net. Garrigo tries to clear it, but the ball clearly over the line. Rangers back in the game. Just flights the ball in here, Durant. Look, he's well up, climbs over a few bodies. Terrible mistake. And as you can see there, the ball well over the line. Rangers right back in this game now. Well, Rangers won, Leeds United won. And all of the drama we expected in the way here tonight is unfolding. Well, Rangers losing a bad goal from a defensive point of view after just a minute, and then a crazy equaliser there, gifted to them. He put that down to an own goal by John Lukic. And Rangers fired up now at Sally McQuist. And another corner kick to Rangers. Well, suddenly, Gordon, Rangers are right back in it. Yeah, and I don't think John Lucas will be looking forward to this corner kick because he made a right hash of the last one, but Howard Wilkinson was saying only last week how poorly they're defending at set pieces this season. So in an intimidating atmosphere like this, it's always difficult for goalkeepers. That was a shot going in there from Ian Ferguson, who's got two goals to his credit this season. Yeah, he tries a different approach this time. Ball flighted out to the edge of the box. Ian Ferguson gets over it, but... No real power and no real accuracy. So John Lukic, like the other goalkeepers who have come here to Ibrox, must find this crowd intimidating, breathing down his neck there. I remember Chanoff, the uh, Kiev goalkeeper, making a dreadful mistake here that uh, allowed Rangers right into the game a few years back. And uh, that was uh, something similar there. There seemed to be no danger at all. And... Uh, I just wonder what he's thinking at the moment. He hasn't missed a league game for Arsenal or Leeds since 1987. He's got a terrific record, has John Lukic. Got a spell, of course, at high break, where he won League Cup medals and uh, championship medals. But uh, tonight, he knows now he's a real battle in his hands as Ian Durant comes forward for Rangers. It's Ian Ferguson with David McPherson breaking in the right. He's closed down by Eric Cantona. This is Ian Ferguson. Nice little fit there to get away from speed. It's Ferguson! Well, what a transformation in this game. Ian Ferguson making his 15th consecutive start tonight. He played in both games against Lingbe. Yeah, it's a lovely bit of play being Ferguson. Just walks his round Gary Speed. But unfortunately, the ball just zooms past John Lucas's right-hand post. But that goal gave all the Ibrox faithful here a big lift and the players as well. So Ian Ferguson, certainly not afraid to have a shot at goal tonight and uh, enjoying this European arena again after illness and injury kept him out of the side for so long. Here's Mark Catley, who will be relishing this now. It's Ferguson again, trying to find Durant, but it's well come out now by Fairclough. John Brown sending it through, that's a dreadful clearance, so he had plenty of time to do better than that. It's Batty stepping in for Leeds. Challenged by McCall. And a good tackle there, it's picked up now by Durant. It's four against three here. Durant gets a second bite at it. But uh, Newsom goes in. And the ball there, eventually struck by Trevor Stephen. With a little bit of a deflection into the hands of John Lukic and uh, some of the Rangers fans. Claiming a penalty, but uh, the referee rightly waving play on. 
Here's Gordon Strachan, nicely off to McAllister. It's well cut out by Richard Goff. Well, Rangers now have found their feet after that dreadful start. But they're under pressure again here, and Andy Gorham having to react quickly with Cantona racing through. Meanwhile, the offside flag went up there against Mark Kittley. The Belgian referee there signalling for the free kick to Leeds United. And Robertson allows that to run through to his goalkeeper as the Rangers fans get right behind the team. Keatley climbing for it, McCoy's through there, it's cleared there by Newsom. Yeah, I think well, the, the Leeds back four now are looking a lot more vulnerable. I mean, uh, I think in six away games this season they've conceded 19 goals away from home and Mark Hately is just the man to take advantage of that if he can get crosses into the box. So Rangers trying to push their way forward, but uh, that man Gary Speed stepping in. Good play by him, played off by Cantona to Strachan. Switch now to Fairclough. Leaves it to Batty. Now he's getting some uh, extra treatment from the crowd, but he is that kind of player. And Robertson in a tight corner there decides to concede the throw in. So I'm quite sure a few more dramas to unfold over this match tonight, and of course the return at Ellen Road to come up in a fortnight's time. Strachan trying to get forward, but the ball falls behind them. Played through to McCall. By Ian Ferguson, who seems to have taken a bit of a knock as the offside flag is up against Cantona. So this is Trevor Stephen for Rangers. To McPherson. Stephen again to Haitley. Good play this by Rangers, orchestrated there by Stephen, but uh, Dorigo it was to get his foot in. And Rangers have the throw. And Trevor Stephen shielding the ball well. McCall playing it through to Durant. It's a good pass. Still Durant. Through to Haitley. Durant again. Good play by Rangers. On the tackle there by Gordon Strachan. It's a corner kick to Rangers. But excellent play by Ian Durant. Yeah, that was a lovely little one-two with Mark Haitley. Ian Durant played there. And the Rangers fans here, he just knocks the ball into Mark Gately, scoops it over on Ali McCoy's head, goes for the 1-2, and the Rangers fans behind that goal are looking for a penalty kick here. They believe Gordon Strachan fouled Ian Durant, but the referee's awarded a corner kick. And it's Durant who takes it again. It's whipped away, though, by Gary McAllister. Returned by John Brown. McPherson's onside. Oh, the flag, in fact, uh, went up rather late over on the far side. But uh, the referee had uh, stepped in anyway. Yeah, I think he wasn't too happy with McPherson's challenge. Get no real chance of getting the ball there, raises his right foot and um, the referee's awarded a free kick for dangerous play. So that's Durant's header. Newsom to Batty. Right through for Cantona, challenged by Goff. This is Trevor Stephen. No heavy rain falling here at Ibrooks. Has been a rather wet and gloomy day in Glasgow. And it was certainly gloomy for this large Rangers crowd after just a minute when Gary McAllister scored. But uh, then an own goal by keeper John Lukic put Rangers back into the game and they're certainly enjoying their best spell. Uh, Gary Speed trying to get forward, it's cut out though by Richard Goff. Breaks through now to Ali McCoy, shadowed all the way by Chris White. And it's Dorigo who made the challenge. Rangers in a hurry to get on with things, McCall sending it there to McCoy. Takes the return, now it's Goff. 
Ferguson. Robertson's closed down by Strachan. Two former Aberdeen players, of course. But, uh, from slightly different eras. Well, Durant uh, under pressure here from Strachan. Well, Strachan does well, but Durant should really have uh, cleared the danger there. This could be trouble for Rangers. Oh, Strachan floating it in, but uh, no real problem eventually for Andy Gorham, but that was slack play by Ian Durant. And no one will have to tell him that. This is Betty. Strachan, Cantona is lurking in the middle. He goes on a run. He's watched carefully by Richard Goff. And Goff uh, puts in a good challenge there to concede the throw-in. So just over half an hour gone, one goal apiece here at Highbrook Stadium. It's Batty for Leeds United. This is Chris White. Speeds in there. If he can get that onto his left foot, and the ball goes behind for the corner. Well, he is such a dangerous player. Very good left foot on him. And Rangers had to react quickly. Yeah, it was a terrific recovery tackle there by John Brown because Gary Speed, nice control in the box, just poked it forward a little bit, got his shot in, but John Brown comes zooming across the, the box to get the block in. But I've got another corner kick now, Leeds United, and of course Gordon Strachan going over to the other side of the field to take it now. So of course the aerial threat, uh, apparently there's another Chris White that is lurking on the edge of the six-yard area. There he gets the touch, the ball's off the post there from Newsom. Well, Rangers survive. Chris White it was, getting his head to the ball at the near post, and Newsom come in at the far side, sent it against the post. And here come Leeds United again through Gordon Strachan. Well, what a let off there for Rangers. It's still Strachan will play some fine football. The offside flag is up though. The offside flag has been up. But some delightful football by Gordon Strachan. But certainly the corner kick caused Rangers all kinds of problems, they lost the opening goal from a corner and of course Leeds lost their goal from a corner. Yeah but good corner kicks like that are very difficult to defend, against, to defend against, particularly somebody as tall as Chris White and that was a real let off, Newsom coming in there with a the diving head on just coming up off the post. It's uh, Newsom again sending it through, looking for Lee Chapman, John Brown provides a cover and the clearance high upfield from Andy Gorham, Backy's in there. Uh, the offside flag had gone up though against the Rangers strike force just a few yards inside the Leeds half Ali McCoy stood straight forward the Chapman signalling for the ball and it's Chris White who takes it he sends it in the direction of Chapman Brown's in there with him in comes Gary Speed it's Batty now getting the chance and Gary McAllister sending the ball over the crossbar, well, Ali McCoy will uh, have to be rather careful with the offside situation. But uh, here were uh, Leeds coming forward, some excellent yeah. play this by Gordon Strachan. Yeah, he's well offside here, but it was a lovely bit of football here. He just waltzes round Andy Gorham and sticks it into the empty net, but well offside. And meanwhile, Ali McCoy had been caught uh, offside at the other end of the field. Meanwhile, it's a throw in two Rangers, the ball coming off Lee Chapman. 33 years of age, nine goals so far this season for Chapman. I'm sure both managers will have uh, plenty to say to the teams at half time. The lead started as though they did sweep Rangers off the field. Uh, Rangers were not at all settled defensively, but uh, the loss of the goal by John Lukic has uh, certainly undermined the Leeds defence quite a bit. And here come Rangers again, Richard Goff charging forward at every opportunity, leading by example as the Rangers captain. He's closed down there though by Chris White. And Trevor Stephen losing out. And uh, Goff cut up field here, so uh, the burden falls on John Brown. Well, that's a terrible clearance here by Andy Gorham, it's picked up by Strachan. He runs onto the return there from Chapman. Well, what a mistake there from an international goalkeeper. He had plenty of time. It's not as though he was under any immediate pressure. And really, it's amazing to see so many seasoned players making so many mistakes in this first half. The nerves are jangling. And Hitley 
falls to the ground there as he was challenged by Fairclough and the free kick is awarded I don't think there was any real intent there on Chris Fairclough's behalf I think they just in their legs get tangled up a bit and Hately fell to the ground so Ferguson trying to find a gap here getting around to his left foot and not a bad effort again well he's tested the goalkeeper on several occasions as Ian Ferguson yeah, I think he's looking a little bit nervy, John Lucas. and no wonder after conceding that corner kick because that wasn't such a powerful shot from Ian Ferguson and he never really grasped at that cleanly. Bobbled off his chest a little bit and sort of got his pants to it at the second attempt. So this is Fairclough for Leeds. Chapman's head out to Strachan. Ferguson doing some sterling defensive work now. Gets the ball to Trevor Stephen. Played through to Ali McCoist. He broke off his marker, Chris White there. It's played now to McPherson. That's Trevor Stephen. McCall being chased all the way by speed. McPherson again to Goff. Rangers committing a lot of players forward here. This is Ian Ferguson. David Robertson breaking now in the left. What's a magnificent effort by David Robertson. And a fine save by John Lukic, diving there to his right and pushing the ball behind for the corner kick. Well, David Robertson doesn't score many goals. Yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice patient build-up that by Rangers. And played it across the box and David Robertson comes on to it here, thunders in a left-foot shot. And John Lukic didn't look so nervous here, did he? Terrific save. So that'll do his confidence a power of good. And well, Leeds still under pressure here. Well, Ali Claiming it was impeded, but uh, the ball goes behind for another corner to Rangers. Well, this would be a good time for another Rangers goal, there's no doubt about that. The minute's ticking away towards half-time. Just about eight minutes of this first half left. Trevor Stevens corner! <laughs> Ali McChrist! It was David McPherson's header. And Ali McChrist finished it off. 36 minutes gone, Ali McCoy's for Rangers, he gets his 25th goal of the season, it was David McPherson who bravely went in, powerful header there blocked by the goalkeeper and Ali McCoy to get his first goal in the European Cup this season. Yeah, this match seems to be all about corner kicks this evening, the great downward header with David McPherson, Lukic couldn't hold it and Ali McCoy, as he so often is in the right place at the right time, knocks the ball into the net, what a great time to get a goal. As I said earlier, Howard Wilkinson very concerned about the amount of goals Leeds were losing from set pieces, and that seems to be the case this evening. Because really, if you look at the league record, six away matches this season, Leeds United have conceded 19 goals. That is a very bad statistic for the reigning English champions. Well, Ali McCoy does it again for Rangers, just about every occasion this season, he said these fans absolutely delighted. It really was a typical McCoy's goal, brave play by McPherson, and McCoy's, well, his favourite position inside the six-yard box, and look at the delight on his face. Well, 25 goals, including two hat-tricks, two penalties, four in one game against Falcon.